So this is basically a part two of budget diversion. And I'll just do the very, very brief little overview that most people have seen um, again and again and again and again over the last three years from the first uh, suggestion to uh, the various bits and pieces. So yeah, like a, a, a previous speaker said, because I don't want to guess which one is your first name, which is your second name, <laughs> and that went to uh, get confused there. Uh, we're reusing the .ui format and uh, using lay data things, and we had a lot of work to do there. And again, this is just where we came from, the old layout from the old word count dialogue, and that's what it looks like in the, the new format. At the beginning of the Google Summer Code, uh, we think we had 80% of everything converted over, and I think there was 64 or 70 in that region uh, dialogues and type pages left to convert. We set up a wiki page, um, find dialogues, because we couldn't find where the dialogues remaining were. We knew where some of them were, and we knew where, we did not know where the rest of them were. We knew their names, and we knew where the code was, but we didn't know how to launch them or what application they were belonged to, so we had done searching to do as well. So there's more to this project than just converting the dialogues, it's also finding the dialogues and finding what the dialogues were actually for and what they looked like when they got launched. So you actually had to find out where they were. Uh, if there was head documentation for them, you could use that, but not everything had head documentation. We found a lot of dialogues in the um, forums for a database application where we had lots of wizards down there we hadn't seen before. It's just not an application that I had used a lot, so I didn't know where they were. So what we are looking at here is the last set of dialogues. You have to point out that while there was only 20% left, this is the 20% that had been left until last. And they were left until last because they were the hardest to find, they were very, very difficult to convert, or they were just very, very large. So that general tab page for the bibliography was a huge, huge, huge conversion job with like hundreds of, of widgets in it. And the one you mentioned before that the grid dialogue was an obscure dialogue from the scanner preview under Unix if you wanted to change the colour table for your scan. And it was such an old dialogue that it drew directly onto the dialogue. It wasn't like a, a grid widget inside the dialogue. It was just draw onto the dialogue, which didn't fit our model whatsoever. So that kind of, those dialogues are from an era even before this era. This is the era before you drew directly onto the dialogues. Then it all got, got converted over into controls. Some of them got, got, got forgotten. And now we had to convert them into controls so we could convert them to widget layout. Now, uh, Sismon then, who's not here, I just did quick stats when I came up here, and I think that he converted about 30, 30 plus dialogues and type pages himself. And I know that he focused quite a lot on the wizards inside in forms. So he converted endless amounts of wizards and dialogues down there. So the status then, on the end of that GSAR project was that we had 839 UI files mm -hmm. and no dialogues, no tab pages, no error pages, none blah 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 left in all of that. Now, after the end of GSAR 2014, <laughs> we discovered that there is one remaining or two remaining categories of stuff that can be loaded in SRC files that uh, require layout as well, floating windows and docking windows. So there was 24 of them. Uh, it used to be 28 at the beginning of the week, there's 24 now, so we're back to 97%. But when it comes to dialogues and tab pages, the GSOC 2014 goals were reached. All the SRC dialogues and tab pages were converted, and it was a huge effort, and I knew that coming to the end of the last 20%, there was no way I could face looking at any more dialogues day after day after day. So I'm very, very happy that the GSOC students accepted the project, and I'm very, very grateful that they completed it, and I know it wasn't easy, as they were the toughest and the hardest of them lived. Thanks very much.